day. Spring has sprung here in Australia. It's sunny, it's glorious, and we're starting to think about what we want to grow in our garden this year. It's a bit too soon to be planting everything outside, so I've just bought myself a little greenhouse, and I'm going to plant some seeds, some veggie seeds, and some flower seeds, put them in my little greenhouse, and hopefully get them started. And then in a few weeks time, once the weather warms up just that little bit more as well, it'll be time to plant them out into the garden. So first job is to put my greenhouse together. Cool. So this is my little greenhouse. It's a little walk-in one. It's, um, it's not expensive. It's just got a plastic cover on it. I think it was $65 in Bunnings. So Graham's just getting all the bits out. And we're going to pop it together, hopefully, before it gets too cold and too dark this afternoon. So this is my finished greenhouse all together. It's not big, but it's big enough for me to get um, all the veggies and flowers ready for the garden for this summer starting up in there. So we've planted peas, snow peas, zucchinis, carrots, tomatoes, marigolds, um, jalapenos, capsicums. What else do we plant? Oh, a mix of seeds that's for bees and butterflies as well. So a mixture of flowers for bees and butterflies. So everything's in there, it's been watered, and I'm gonna close it up and hopefully all of our little seeds will start sprouting soon. Hi, this morning I'm off to CIT. I'm teaching at CIT today, but I also have to do my first presentation, which is part of the training qualification that I'm working on. So I finished doing it about 10 o'clock last night. Ironically, it's about time management and I nearly didn't get it done because I've been so busy this week. But I did get it finished, it's all ready and I'm off to present it to the students this morning and I'm super, super nervous. So I will be back later to check in with you and tell you how it went. Morning, my um, presentation yesterday, I think it went okay. I, I, I was really nervous at the start and I think you could tell but I got through it and the students were really quiet to start with but after a while they started sort of warming up a little bit and there was a little bit of interaction and I think a couple of them were really bored but that's students <laughs> so um, the teacher who I'm working with said it was good and when I got home I had to fill in all sorts of extra paperwork to go with it like sort of self-evaluation stuff about how it went what I could do to improve so I did that and then this morning I've got it all submitted. So that's one of three done. And um, hopefully it'll get marked quickly and I'll get my feedback and see how I can improve for the next one. So next week I'm doing another one to the same students. Um, so this one was time management. Next week's is gonna be about styling um, your collection for catwalks and exhibitions, which is something I, you know, I love, absolutely love doing that. So gives me a good excuse to sit on YouTube and on the internet and find lots of amazing inspiration and images from designers and shows that I've loved throughout history. <laughs> so that's my job. Oh, probably Sunday I'll do that. So today I'm sewing all day. I've got two wedding dresses that I've got first fittings for, um, one on tomorrow and one on Saturday. So I'm going to get them done today. Then I'm working on Jazida's as well. She's here for a fitting. I've got a new client coming to see me tomorrow as well. So the next couple of days are really busy. Um, I'll show you some of Jazida's as I'm doing it. And yeah, in between that's wedding dresses that I can't show you yet, but I will be able to. One of them's something really different. Um, and she wants to talk about her wedding dress and why we've made it as we're making it once it's done because she's got quite an important message to share with everyone. So I'm really excited about that. She's got her first fitting tomorrow. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, just yeah, teaching, presenting, writing presentations, sewing for clients. It's non-stop as always. So I'll be back soon to show you what I can of Jazida's new costume though. This morning I've seen a client for a wedding dress fitting. Uh, I've just seen a new client for a quote for a wedding for next year as well. And now I'm getting everything ready because Jazida's back for her next fitting next. It's a crazy day, especially for a Friday. This is like a Saturday with all these people coming normally, but it's Friday this week. So, so this is where I am up to with Jazida's bodysuits. I've got the lace sewn on, all the edging finish, it's coming together. Um, I just need to, I did, <laughs> I've got the sequin fabric on one half of the hip. 
and I've kind of started pinning it on the other but because we're putting something not stretchy this sequin fabric onto something stretchy it's really hard to guess I can't put this on my mannequin to do it either so it's pretty much all done apart from that second bit of lace so when she gets here and tries it on I'll pin that with loads of pins to get it sitting properly and then it'll just be a case of sewing that on. The other part of the costume, which I can't show you, is all finished as well. And yeah, hopefully she's happy with it. There's a lot of crystals to add, sort of, yet. But this is the sort of base of it. And then the crystals are just going to highlight the pinks and the turquoise that's already there. Okay, so Jazeeda's been and collected her outfit. She's going to add all the crystals to it. Um, I couldn't show you the final fitting because I'd had to sew on parts of the bit that we're keeping secret for now you might see a little um a little hint on instagram um if jazida puts it up but i'll leave that up to her because it's her outfit and how much she wants to share or keep secret but um she's doing her first performance of this new routine and this new outfit in about two weeks time here in canberra on hang on let me check the date okay so she's going to be premiering it on Friday the 20th and Saturday the 21st of September at the Abbey here in Canberra for Decadence and Debauchery, which is an event that she organises here. And she's got Zelia Rose coming to Canberra to perform. So Zelia Rose has been on tour with Dita. Um, she's just fabulous. So I'm really excited to go. I'm going on the Saturday night to see it. So um, lots of other performers as well. Her events are always a really great night out, so I'll put a link in the description to the event page and to Jazida's website where you can buy tickets as well. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome night, so I'm going to be there on the Saturday night, I think. Yeah, I might go Friday as well, see what I'm doing that weekend. So, next for me this afternoon, I've got to finish a wedding dress 12 for a fitting first thing tomorrow, and then I'm going to go and meet my good friend Julie for dinner. So, Julie is... Ah, uh, she was my first friend I made when I moved to Australia and she doesn't live in Canberra anymore and she's just down for the weekend so I'm going to go meet her for dinner and catch up. It's so, I haven't seen her in so long, far too long. We talk a lot on the phone and um, we Skype each other but just to see her in person is different so I'm so excited to get to catch up with her for dinner tonight so that's really cool. So I'm going to go and get this 12 done. Just have a general tidy up in the studio because it's it's such a mess. Uh, I've still got some more work to do on my computer. I probably need to start researching my next presentation. Then after my client tomorrow morning's been, I need to film a video because it's been so long since I filmed a video that's not just like a vlog. I think, what was the last one I put up? I think it was the Halo headpiece and I filmed that before I went away. So yeah, I definitely need to get on and film something tomorrow. Sunday I'm going to be working on my presentation. I need to do some time management. <laughs> now I've been talking about it, I've been thinking about it and thinking about apps and stuff. So yeah, I was just talk talking to Jazida about um, apps to help social media scheduling as well. I think I need to look into using something like that as well because I get behind. There's just not enough hours in a day. When you're one person trying to run a business, you have to be on top of everything all the time and it's just impossible. It really is impossible and it could be quite overwhelming. but. So I have to go and keep working and working on things that I can't show you. Sorry, I can't share secret wedding business. So um, I'll come and talk to you again tomorrow. And now it is tomorrow. So I've seen my wedding dress client this morning for a fitting that went really well. Um, so I can get started on her dress now. That was cool. Um, then I went next door. It was my little neighbor's third birthday party. Oh my God, she's so cute. So I went next door for her little birthday party. Then I came back and saw another client and now I've just finally filmed a new video. Hurrah! So it's only a short one. Uh, it's my sewing essentials. So basically just showing you my sewing machine and the tools and equipment that I couldn't sew without. So hopefully you'll find that useful. I'm going to go and start editing it now and hopefully get it up by tomorrow night. Then tomorrow I am going to be working on my next presentation all day. So this one's going to take a while. Um, so I've got to give a presentation to the students on Wednesday about styling for catwalk and exhibitions, which is what I love. So I need to find some amazing images and videos to show them. So that's going to be all day tomorrow. 
So yeah, so the rest of my weekend is editing and writing a presentation. I had a fabulous dinner with my friend Julie last night. It was so good to see her. I haven't laughed like that in ages. God, I love her to bits. So that was fabulous. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying seeing behind the scenes of my business and my life. I hope you have a greenhouse update next week. Hopefully my little seeds will start sprouting. That would be exciting. If it doesn't blow away, my God, the weather's awful at the minute. But yeah, I hope you enjoy watching what I'm doing, even when I'm working on wedding dresses and I can't show you a lot of what's going on. So I'm going to go and get editing and I will catch you next week. Bye.